Hi there, my name is Michelle Calloway. I am the founder and CEO of Revealio. It means to reveal something magically. We are an innovative software development company that also provides small business owners with interactive branded experiences. Welcome to Tech With Heart. Tech With Heart is a community that enlightens and empowers small business owners to achieve success in an ever changing digital landscape. In a time when Amazon is flipping business models on their head, we small business owners need to come together to discuss and learn from each other on how can we stay fresh, relevant, competitive in this rapidly changing digital time. We will be interviewing top industry experts in the business space to teach you different techniques, tips, tricks, tools, what has been validated, what's working, how can we perhaps incorporate this into our business model. These are the type of experts that we'll be bringing to the table to help enlighten and empower you. The reason why I ended up building Tech With Heart is because I kept hearing the same thing from business owners. When I developed this augmented reality tool called Revealio AR Marketing, I was out and about showing people this amazing technology that connects us through different realms. Through the physical world connects with the virtual world. The story behind why I even built Revealio in the first place is because I was called to it. After losing my husband, the love of my life, to illness way too prematurely in life, I totally devoted my life to whatever it is that God would have me do. I stepped into owning my own business, my own graphic design agency, because my background is in visual communications and digital media. But in 2012, I think God had a different plan. I was introduced to augmented reality technology, which is a cousin to virtual reality. So for you don't need to be taken out of your real world environment in order to experience it. Think of the game Pokemon Go. That was one of the biggest launches of an augmented reality use case in gamification. Then on, on top of that, Apple, Google, Facebook, they're all starting to focus more on augmented reality than they were on virtual reality at first because they see so many valuable use cases, especially in the business sector. Tim Cook is actually proclaiming that augmented reality is going to be as influential to our society as the smartphone. That is a huge statement. If you just think about that for a second, there was a time when people did not think that they needed a smartphone. And now look at it. You see two-year-olds walking around with their own smartphone. I built this tool because I was called to it in 2015, but I didn't understand why specifically I was called to it until a young lady friend of mine came into my office that saw that I was able to make these images and objects come alive with virtual content all around me. And she had the idea of creating a greeting card to send to her boyfriend who was now deployed overseas in the military. He said when he watched her hey, Josh, talk to him daddy. on the yep. card, it rocked him to his core. He said the oceans just disappeared between them and he felt that she was right there with him. So he carried that card in his wallet every day while serving because he felt that she was literally embodied somehow in that card. That was a powerful moment for me. I totally get it now why I was being called to this because after losing my husband, the love of my life, I totally value human relationships on a whole nother level that maybe most don't that haven't experienced that level of loss. So when I saw that augmented reality can act as a magical portal to connect people, I was all in. I set about to create a business model that was gonna make augmented reality experiences super easy, simple, and very affordable no matter who you are or no matter what your budget. What we're doing with augmented reality is really bringing it down at a minimalistic level to allow small business owners to be able to capitalize on it. And what it does is it helps them to captivate their audience and influence their buying decisions. Take them through a buyer's journey in a matter of 60 seconds. Well, so does that mean like you're on, a, on your, like you'd be on your computer screen doing one thing? No, you don't know. What we're doing is we're allowing them to, when they're out and about in the real world, to have elements of their marketing, like, like something as simple as a, a business card or a banner at a trade show could be um, come alive with virtual content when it's viewed through our mobile app. I would love to show you. If it's show me. Oh, you can actually demonstrate this. <laughs> yes, I'm going to demonstrate this. Prepare yourselves. This. This is, I'm, excited, so, I'm excited for this. This is a sample of a business card. My, my app has I programmed this image to be recognized by my app. So when the app actually sees the business card through the app, vir virtual content appears. In this case, I've used a, a video because video marketing is very hot right now. And it actually tracks with the card. You see how it actually is like 
Holy smokes! It's overlaying on top of it. So you're able to captivate your audience, and then you're able to connect with them in a warm way by putting a face to your brand. And then you're able to engage them visually with your message, your product or service, and then direct them to take next steps through these virtual call to action buttons that appear on the mobile screen. So you can Holy take them through smokes. the entire buyer's journey in a matter of 60 seconds. And it taps into every single learning style, dominant learning style that we have as humans. Okay, I host a magic show. I'm just making sure there's <laughs> nothing weird in this and it looks totally completely normal. So that is, so is it an app? Is that what it is? It's an so app? The, the app acts as the augmented reality viewer. In the VR world, you have to put some goggles, goggles on. In our augmented reality world, you would either wear wearables, uh, glasses, but in our case, not everybody has those yet, so we're just making it simple to view through a free mobile app. Our, our Revealio mobile app is what you use. Wow. So. Wow. So when I looked at some VR things, you usually take your phone, you put it inside the goggles, and they, have, they strap to your head. This is the next step up. No in, goggles. In your just real look world environment, just open up our app, and if you could tell something's been activated, yes. Okay, so does that just apply to business cards, or no, it's... it can be anything? Real, any any logo. We can make any logo come alive with content whenever it's viewed through the mobile app. So I'll be in New York next week. I'll be in Times Square, and there are things and things up on the on the walls and those big sh signs mm -hmm. and things. Would that be something that would be able to do something? If they came to us and had us program them to come alive, yes. Oh my, it is next. This is yes. what's going to happen, people. Yes. Holy smokes. We're very smokes. excited to be able to bring this to small business owners because um, small business owners need to have you know, a foot in the game as well because normally this technology is usually so unattainable, affordable, or whatnot. Our focus is to make it so simple and easy and affordable to use. Bring us your content, your video marketing, and we'll make it, marry it to your whatever your print materials are, and bam, you're able to like instantly stop people in their tracks, and you become the rock star in their eyes. Like, I want to work with you. That's what they're going to say. And this thing is going to be gigantic. I, yes. I, I cannot wait. How long have you been doing this now? You said 2000. Well, I started developing with augmented reality back in 2012 when it first kind of became more a little bit mainstream in the United States. It's been in Europe a lot longer than that. And um, people weren't quite ready for it back in 2012. When I showed them things that would come alive, they would back up like, what is that? Witchcraft or voodoo? But now, since the release of um, Pokemon Go in 2016. Oh yeah, that was, a, then, little, that was a little tiny thing. That oh was, my gosh. That did so many great things for the space of augmented reality. And then in 2017, so far, you know, we've got Facebook announcing that they are going to now provide even a development platform for it, which is huge for the world of AR. They predict it's going to just pass, far surpass VR because of the fact that you don't have to sure. be taken out of their real world environment. So we're super excited. I That's, mean, what I'm doing with it, I, you know, it's just so very basic, but video marketing right now is so powerful. So I'm just allowing people to take their video marketing and marry it to their anything that they're putting out there in the real world, physical, tangible items or objects even, and make them come alive. Like a hat with a logo can come alive with a video. Madness, phenomenal. When you're on stage and you're sharing who you are and your whole purpose and your, your, your mission of what, what it is you're doing in life and through your business, now you can make this a gamification aspect to engage the audience. Every time I speak from stage, I hand out different images with my branding, of course, all over it, so I'm conveying my brand message, but different images are gonna trigger different videos when it's viewed through the free app. And only one person in that audience is going to be a grand prize winner. I build up the excitement and anticipation and people engage. 70% of the room converts into my online funnels just to find out what it is that they're gonna win. It's pretty amazing. So this is a fresh, edgy way to stand out in a competitive world and to provide some sort of an emotion when people are coming to the table to learn a little bit more about who you are and what you're doing or an instant way to stand out when you're networking by not always using only your words. You can say, well, let me show you what I do and you can use this technology that way. So the reason Tech With Heart ended up coming into play is because when I was out and about and I was demonstrating this amazing new technology to business owners, they were so blown away, not just by the technology, which is pretty awesome, but they were blown away because technology itself is just moving too fast for them. 
most small business owners are very overwhelmed with just the day-to-day -day business operations and the planning and the marketing that they don't have time to sift through the clutter of the digital noise out there as far as what should they be doing, what should they be changing, shifting, adjusting in their business model or their business systems that's gonna help them stay fresh and relevant in a day in which Amazon is flipping business models on their head. So the Tech With Heart is here to provide small business owners a safe community space to come to the table, be enlightened, be empowered on how they can achieve success in their business. You know, by just making little tweaks or little changes or little shifts, they're gonna hear from industry experts on a regular basis as far as what is working, what's proven, what, has been, what is being tested, hearing from them as far as what's working and what we can be doing as small business owners is going to be so helpful in the long run. So I hope you join us regularly on this channel, on our podcast, on our Facebook group, Tech with Heart. We're going to make sure we keep heart at the center of everything that we teach because without people and without relationships, we can't do business with one another. We need people. So as technology evolves, we want to make sure that we don't allow technology to replace our need for one another, but we want to be thinking smarter and not working harder. So I'm excited for you to join us on a regular basis. Welcome to Tech With Heart. Go to techwithheartnetwork.com if you'd like to be informed of our upcoming expert interviews. And you can also join our Facebook group at Tech With Heart. It's tech underscore W underscore heart for our hashtag. And you can also learn more about this amazing interactive brand experiences through Revealio. It's the word revealio.com. <laughs>